Hey and welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick little video on ionic battery warranties. Are they good or not? You know, can you use them? So if you saw a video I had two days ago, uh, two videos ago, I did a two day bass tournament up at Lake Seminole and when I went to go pre-fish I arrived and my battery was dead. Now I have a 125 amp hour ionic lithium battery. It has the app and everything in it and um, it was all charged the week before when I went to the tournament and uh, I came there and it was dead. Wouldn't even show up on the app. We tried jump starting it. I had a bunch of people trying to help me. Low, long story short, I ended up going to Walmart, buying a cheap battery, and that did me over for the tournament. When I got home, the first thing I did was get on the internet, get on uh, um, uh, Google, and type in uh, Ionic Battery Warranty. Once you do that, you'll see this website right here. You can go to Lithium Hub or the sponsored, either one will work. We'll just go straight to Lithium Hub, click on that, and it brings you straight to the battery warranty page. So Ionic battery, batteries, uh, 30 amps and up, that would be this one. And just scroll down, it tells you all about the warranty so you can read that. Um, how to use your warranty. If you purchase a Lithium Hub, click here. If you purchase through a dealer, another web page or Amazon, click here. So I bought mine through a dealer. I'm gonna click here and it takes you to the request form. It's plain and simple, really easy. Uh, fill out your information, uh, a brief, uh, you know, what happened to your battery. You know, like I showed up at a tournament, the battery was dead. It worked the weekend before. Um, you know, we tried jump starting it per Ionic uh, instructions, which is basically taking another battery and tapping the two leads to kind of jumpstart the BMS. So I put that all in there. Okay, so after you fill out the warranty information, just hit send. And literally the next day, I got a uh, email from Jeff at Lithium Hub saying my warranty request has been processed and a shipping label has been attached. So at the bottom, I have two PDFs. It was a label and then a hazardous label. So I don't have a printer. So I just sent the email to UPS when I brought the battery there. They printed out the two labels. I had put foam around the battery, but they put it in a box. So it cost me like $5 um, to have them package it and send it out. Uh, 10 days later, I got another email and it was your warranty request has been completed and your battery is being prepared for shipment. Um, and I literally got it the next day after that. Um, it was a painless process. Now, Ionic has an 11 year warranty. Like all battery warranties, they're prorated. So, you know, if you're on uh, the, uh, you know, 10 and a half years, you're pretty much gonna pay 95% of a new battery. But in the first three or four years, they have like 100% um, either fix, a guaranteed fix, and if they can't fix it, they'll replace it. So they actually fixed my battery. They don't tell you what was wrong with it, but they, it was my battery I sent them from all the markings that were on the side, uh, which is fine. I don't care uh, as long as I have a working battery. So I received my original battery back and it's just fixed. I've already it got, came back at 19% charge. So I put it on my boat, plugged in the boat battery charger, charged up fine, the app works fine, I should have no further issues. So, would I get another Ionic battery? Yes. Um, things break, GoPros. How many people of us doing this video world have GoPro problems? We never send the GoPros back, we deal with them. Uh, cars, anything electronic can break down, or mechanical can break down at any minute. So, having a battery, the BMS is the computer system on it, um, they go bad. Um, some will last for 11 years, hopefully most do. I have lifetime batteries, I've had those for one year, um, I have not had an issue. This Ionic is three years old and this is the first ever problem I've had. I have a good friend and a lot of guys in the clubs, they also run Ionic and I've never heard of them actually having a problem with theirs. So I don't think it's a huge issue. Um, but you know, that's up to you to decide. I'm not paid by Ionic. This is me. I bought this battery with my own money. Nobody gave me anything. So I'm just doing a review on their warranty service and their warranty service was excellent. 
I cannot praise it enough. So on that note, you can make your own judgment on whether you want to go to Ionic, Dakota Lithium, Litime, Wheezy, who knows, you know. Um, they're, all, they're all lithium batteries. The big difference is the BMS system in it and the electronics in it. Uh, a cold temperature alarm, a hot temperature alarm or sensor. Um, those, those, that's what makes the batteries different inside. They're all lithium. Uh, you're not, uh, you know, and it, pretty much with all the tests I've seen, they all truly hold what they say. If it's a 100 amp hour battery, I don't care if it's the cheapest one you're getting, it pretty much is going to hold 100 amp hours. So, hey, thank you for watching. Take care, and until next time, tight lines.